I feel a little bit of fear right now and I do know why, because I'm scared to say my thoughts in front of uh, grandmother, in front of my family member and uh, I don't know why, what should I do, I don't know to, I want to say something, you know, this feeling of uh, when you have your own thoughts, when you have your own uh, opinion about something, but you are scared of it because you always was a nice guy and uh, you I was I was this nice guy in front of my parents I was a nice guy in front of like uh, my inner circle of communication and uh, I really don't know what to say next because uh, I feel scared to impress my thoughts I really do and I understand that not need to live a life in someone else's expectations because right now what uh, what I do it is living in uh, her in my grandmother's expectations uh, a life because uh, I always listening, I always try to focus not on my feelings, but on like a, that someone is watching at me, that someone is looking at me and uh, it is fear of shyness, embarrassment and uh, of some of the negativity maybe around. I mean that, no, it, it is all what I create inside of me because in our family it was like a, always forbidden when I was with father, forbidden to speak truth, forbidden to say some something about uh, sexual things, about uh, some of the personal things. Maybe it wasn't forbidden, but I created inside of myself that it is forbidden to talk about it. And I always talked, not always, but almost always, talked about my my things around that happened uh, around and I thought I talked on only about like communication about about school things school things and uh, what happens inside of school like a all stuff, studying stuff. I I feel sorry that I'm not just gesturing right now so much, but it is so important to talk. talk uh, I felt that need to impress it. It is like art therapy for me because it is psychological thing. Because I don't know who will listen to me right now. I want to share a little bit of story that at my childhood I... Uh, I was living with uh, parents. I will speak with this way. I think that will be good. Yes, I was living with parents and uh, with sister. And uh, at those moments, I felt like like I d don't need to express myself, impress myself, and uh, tell my feelings about something, about something that happens uh, in my life. I felt this way, I really did. And uh, right now I want to express my feelings. And uh, that's why I started to speak uh, in English la language. Maybe I started my channel on English language to be not like a dependent, to be to be independent in speaking my own words. I don't know will you listen to me or not. This talk at my childhood, uh, it was forbidden to express myself. I understand that right now it is not my childhood, it is like uh, my my years of uh, 
of 22 years old and I can't express anything because it is my life and not someone's life. I understand that someone can maybe make something for me. I understand that someone can do something for me, but uh, I can. I should be responsible about my life. Why do I feel right now a little bit of uh, like a shy? Because I think that they will say, what are you doing? What do you do? And something. But right now I need to make a decision that I will live life in my own term. I will be uncontrolled on something. I will be not like a, what I scared the most. Because right now I'm scared to speak my truth. Need to make it without wearing. I'm scared to speak my truth. Sorry that this video is not super like uh, structured. Because I started to write a document on Microsoft Word and I thought that it will be so... Uh, that uh, inside of Word it will be not super like... Inside of Word it will be not super like uh, emotional. Even now I hear some of the sounds of... Um, of the glass door it is near room when my grandmother locates right now is locating and uh, I f I hear it and I'm so uh, scared that uh, someone can hear me and even that I speak in English language not Russian I fear it I f I so shamed and like scared that someone from my family will even right now I said family because they can understand that uh, it is word that I speak and some words they know they know some English words and I'm scared to speak uh, Russian words at my home about my feelings even right now I can uh, record something on Instagram I can record something on s accounts on social media but I don't do this it is my Russian account when I have like a look it is a 330, oh, please focus. You can see it is 3301 oh, followers and uh, they are Russian. Yes, maybe 100 will be not Russian, but they are Russian, 3200 3, and uh, they are active viewers, they are active followers, but I'm scared to say my words. And uh, what should I do, maybe, uh, to start speaking in Russian language? But I s I'm scared what other people will think about me. Why do I scared? Maybe because I'm not like... Um, I'm not give a shit about the uh, opinion of my family about me. Maybe that's why. But also I don't feel like a so big amount of... Like, I need a lot of my family members. No, I, I understand that it is kind of like uh, I should be loyal to them. I should be like a person who shares uh, some lovely moments. But uh, I feel some feelings, but uh, for my own stepfather only. Like, um, and for mother too. For another, I feel it, but it, it feels not super like in uh, another families. I mean that, uh, yes, you can say, like, I love my family, I love my mother, I love my sister, I love my grandmother and stepfather. But uh, it doesn't feel, uh, it doesn't feel with so big amount, like a feeling, like... Uh, if they will die, I will think that, yes, it will be not really nice. It will be not really a good thing. But it will not be like a something that will, uh, will kick me and will uh, say to me that you are, you, you will, you will not survive. I feel even uh, more that 
that if my if my family members will not be near me i will feel better in some moments because i can i will be controllable by myself not by them right now i'm controllable of my thoughts of them i hope that you understand me it is like a when you are scared of someone i'm not scared of strangers so much because i understand that they are no one for me they are like a i mean not no one they they have no strength to me they have no like a something to kick me they have no, they have nothing to me they have really nothing and they cannot say to me something bad or something but i understand about family that uh, i i don't want to communicate with them so much because i don't feel something like a good f- for them it is like a yes i feel gratitude for them i feel it but this negative su- circle of uh, of speaking negative circle of speaking because I understand when my sister comes to our uh, to to our house to speak with grandmother I understand that they speak about uh, like negative complaining things and uh, I don't don't like it so much I feel like uh, why do they speak about it at our home about something about someone else's life I don't uh, like it when someone complains about things on their jobs like if if you complain you can start doing something it is do you know it is feeling of that you are living w- near complainers and uh, my life started to be changed at uh, 2013 when we went with my mother from my father own father to stepfather Stepfather started to be my soulmate and uh, so like a person with whom I can share my thoughts, with whom I can share my thoughts, with whom I can uh, say what I feel right now and uh, what I, I, I did not say to him like uh, everything about my life, but I understand that he's so positive and grated, gratitude fulfill person like he's so thankful for life and th- what happens around my mother too but uh, sometimes i don't like uh, not really negative but some of the like uh, so angry angry not angry it is more about like a teaching teaching motifs a teaching of uh, like you should you should do this 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 uh, speaking tone not like a not words tone tone of speaking intonation when you have like a do you understand feelings feelings like a you can say like ha huh, do this and uh, you can do whatever you do want and uh, fuck off like a uh, fuck off and uh, that's all it is like fuck off fuck off man <laughs> yeah fuck off but you can say it's like a fuck off uh, uh, or no not this angerness but like a uh, why do you do this like this way with emotion emotions are more more complex more like a, can our emotions can say more than uh, th- than words sometimes really and not even sometimes but maybe always maybe in native percent of situation emotions can say more than our wo- words and uh, i don't like so much complaining of my family members right now i speak like i'm complaining about it but it is something that inside of me and what it was and I felt so much that I need to tell it because I don't know with whom to speak about. Because if I will talk right now with my Russian friends, girlfriends and something like... Not girlfriends, women friends. Uh, then uh, I will feel that uh, 
someone can hear me inside of another room. To outside, to I'm quarantined right now, and to go outside, it will be something that will that will be not really nice. I mean that uh, if we will be outside, it will be unquarantined thing, and I can't even do call or ring. I don't have uh, English friends like uh, someone who is not from uh, YouTube. Yes, we have like subscribers, we have viewers. I understand they support me. They always support me and uh, write comments. Thank you so much for it. They are from another country. So I'm so grateful for this. I understand that they are from another country and uh, I can do a call to them. Yes, I have a Rosie. Rosie, it is one of the viewers. She has a nickname Star on, uh, on YouTube. And uh, I felt this way that she's more uh, she, she's not like a always on t keep in touch like n no i don't feel <laughs> i don't want to say that you are n not really nice and uh, keep in touch because we have different timings R right now australia time uh, it is time to sleep yes and when i will uh, call to her i understand that need to wait it is all about passion but i wanted to say my words right now that's why i started started to record this video after starting recording i started right now at this moment i started to feel better i started to feel that i have more courage to say my thoughts to say my feelings uh, and uh, i understand in my daily routine when my grandmother went to store to store because of uh, need she needed a little bit of uh, like uh, store things, like shopping things. I don't know how to say it. It's more like grocery, more uh, milk, more cheese things, things more, more, uh, more, more eating food. Yes, stuff. And uh, I felt at that moment that I was uh, so happy and I was so freely speaking at uh, this home because. I understood that I can do uh, anything I want. I can do anything I want. I even sung. Sung it is like a singing, another form of singing. S sung songs uh, at uh, our corridor, at our hall, at our bathroom. And when I'm alone, I can do this. I feel it. I, I remember when I was at St. Petersburg, when I was alone at dormitory, I felt the same. The same feeling like I can do anything. Like, uh, I can share my thoughts and nobody will uh, will look at me. I understand that roommates... I had a roommate at dormitory, okay. Roommate at dormitory, I can say anything about uh, our world and... He maybe will hear me and uh, I don't give a fuck about him. I d didn't give a fuck about him, all, but I understood that I don't need to speak about him. And uh, that's why I didn't speak about him in uh, inside of room wh when I was with him, when I lived at dormitory. I mean that we were at dormitory. It is our room. You can watch my previous videos. I was dancing even uh, when he was at home, like a dancing. He was uh, behind me and uh, he was uh, like near me, but uh, I could dance and uh, I danced uh, and I wasn't so much scared of him because it is my life and uh, I will not see him again. I can't say the same thing about my family because my family will be with me till they will be in graveyard. I understand it. And uh, I'm so sorry to speak about it, about graveyard things about my family because uh, it is uh, more like... A, what we are not supposed to talk to and maybe after one year of watching this video again I will delete it and, or maybe we will do unlisted but right now I understand that yes this talk should be should be spoken also I understand that it will be good enough to speak with my grandmother with my mother or stepfather or sister about thing, things that I have right now in my life that I'm so scared to share my thoughts, that I'm so scared to speak about my things, uh, but uh, I don't have a courage to, this courage to speak with them maybe about this topic, but it is all what stops me. 
it is like a till I will speak with them, till I speak with them, I can't uh, live my own life with my own terms to share my own positions, to share my my even if they will not be agreed with my thoughts, thoughts. Like, uh, I want to share on Russian language uh, that uh, my family members, they are complain, co complaining, complainers, not fully, but uh, in some moments, really. It is stonable complaining. Not like you can say something funny, like a comedian that, oh, I had this, uh, this uh, red rednecks, I had these people, yes, I had this kind of stuff of dumb people there, I, everywhere, stupid people, yes, like this way, in a funny way. But you understand that complaining, in a complaining like a way that uh, you are so angry about them, no. It is uh, not uh, what I like to uh, hear. And I want to move from this house... Uh, as fast as possible, but while we have this coronavirus, it is uh, a little bit of chance to do this. Because, uh, yes, I understand that if I, if I wanted this so bad, so hard, like, uh, yes, I wanted so much, I found, then I could found a position to go away. I understand that uh, every time we have choices every time we have choice to stay here to to go away to to like uh, do our own things i understand that maybe no one will watch maybe this video maybe 20 viewers again we will have someone will write to me like a copy pasted comments like uh, spam comments some people do this maybe someone will watch it with full understanding of my situation and uh, maybe if you do, please write in the comment section, it will be really interesting to know your opinion about this situation. I need a little bit of support, and what should I do? It will be so, uh, like, helpful to me, because I I know what's... Uh, I know what should I do, but I'm scared to do this. Like, uh, I know that I should speak with them, or... I should, or whether, speak with them about this topic and start to do my own things and not to be in control of them. Or I should start doing my things and don't speak about them with my family. They can hear it and it will be kind of cynical maybe in some moments because, yes, I understand that I will speak about cynical things. I can say to them, like, yes, good, nice, but... Uh, on their backs, I will say this stuff, this shit stuff, really. I don't want to say that this shit stuff, but uh, yes, it is kind of cynical will be. Because they know me from another angle. They know me like uh, I'm a nice guy. I'm a really, like, a helpful, nice... Uh, not like a... They know me a little... And I want to share my thoughts, uh, they know me a little bit. They don't know who is my friends, uh, they don't know who are my women that I speak with. Uh, yes, even I s didn't say girlfriend, because I don't have a girlfriend. Uh, and uh, they don't know, uh, like, uh, things that uh, happen in my life, because I don't want to share it. I don't want uh, them to know about my life. Why don't I want uh, want it? They can't do like something against me, like a say to me, "Haha, you are not good." Okay, I heard it so much from my doormate when I was living at dormitory that he said, "Like, ah, you are not good at something." I heard many of bullying, bullying things at my school, and uh, okay. I will not see them again, but my family I will see again maybe 30 years after that. I understand that, yes, I can stop talk, talking with them fully, like uh, totally, and live my own life, pay my own bills, uh, pay for my own food, pay for my own like internet connection with you, pay for anything that I have right now and my life right now this do this stuff 
this stuff provided by my grandmother with my mother. Yes, I don't have a pocket money from them right now. I have my own, but all food, all uh, rent, all things like uh, utilizing things around me I have from them. And I don't think that I'm scared to to lose, to lose a little bit of money from them. I don't feel this way like uh, if I will lose it, okay, I will lose, okay, 8,000 8, of rubles, I can earn it uh, anywhere. Yes, it is uh, it is a number of uh, of uh, gold of things of money that uh, I can earn but uh, why do I scared why am I scared to do my own things uh, because happiness is not about money right now I I am in a trap I am in a like a place when I'm scared of doing it and uh, I like a uh, value money that I don't pay like money that I don't how to say it 8000 rubles yes they pay for me for rent for food for something it's almost uh, maybe 150 dollars they pay for me okay it is nice stuff and thank you so much for that but I'm scared to share my thoughts uh, because I don't know what will be next if I will share my thoughts. Yes, and I feel uh, not really so good of like uh, forecasting what will be if I will share my thoughts. I'm scared of nothing. I'm scared of uh, like uh, really I have nothing. I'm scared of what I've created inside of my mind. And thanks so much for this talk, by the way, Igor. I'm scared not of them. I'm scared of what I created inside of my mind. I'm don't. They didn't say me. They didn't say me at least once that you are on a not really good way. Yes, my grandmother said about my streams, about my like Twitch things that I do, like laughing stuff. So like uh, you do. You do not really nice stuff and uh, look at uh, your sister, she's opera singer and uh, I know what she does. But uh, about me, she said that uh, I do not really nice stuff and uh, that I'm not really nice in something. And uh, no, she said not like a, I'm not really nice in something, that she don't know what what I do. I do videos, I do also stuff on internet and I understand that it is uh, it's a, it is generation of uh, she's uh, almost 70 70 years old and uh, it is uh, it means 1950 1950 birth birth date birth year and she from uh, this from this date she was born at this date and uh, I understand that your like a mentality about that you should be in your country maybe it is the same I know some stereotypical stereotypical things inside of America that yes you should be a lawyer you should be a doctor a doctor and you will be a nice person yes don't go to entrepreneurship don't go to like so TikTok to some YouTube stuff bloggers who are they and uh, people who are people who speak with camera do something like ah not do vlogging do 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 tv shows like uh, real tv shows to watch you on television not like a uh, to t to tell about you to my friends like uh, to my old to old so like uh, this way uh, friends who are don't using phones i understand her stuff because she wants to share it she wants like uh, to be proud of me and to share it to another people because another people can ask her uh, what what's your like a grandchild do and she will say he's uh, shooting videos okay and uh, if maybe she has the same like a self-esteem problem like uh, that uh, if I will be blogger, vlogger or streamer, then they will say like she does videos or what and she will not be proud of me because it is not her idol of like my behavior, of my things that I should do. Really. And uh, that's, uh, that's why. 
And uh, I understand that uh, that's why I do so many of uh, music stuff. That's why I do so many of things uh, like another skills to show that I can do something, not only creating like speaking videos. Because I, I like to do uh, speaking videos. It is interesting. <laughs> it is like art therapist in some moments. In Russian language, I liked this too. But right now I can't do this because I'm scared of my family. When they started to watch me at uh, at Instagram, why did they start to look at me? Why did uh, they start to follow me? I don't understand. I, I could ask them about this. And uh, I'm not so comfortable about things that... They started to, like, uh, spying at me. They started to spy at me. Like, do you know, sometimes I can come inside of uh, grandmother's room and uh, look at her that she's near laptop, yes. And on laptop I have my photos of my profile, social media profiles. And it is not, like, a super that I so much like. I don't like when someone is... Uh, like uh, look at me someone looks at me what do i do and after that guessing what i do i don't like it and uh, that's why i started to make my social media accounts uh, private i feel not comfortable because uh, someone maybe from another from someone who is stranger like i will not have a follower because of it that i started that I started to make it private. I even blocked my family members at this band at uh, social media accounts because uh, I am so so I'm so I feel so uncomfortable about they are watching at me. They are like uh, always looking what do I do and uh, it was a good time at uh, St. Petersburg when I was living alone with no one who can say to me like what to do and uh, what you what you supposed to do, not like what you do, what you sh what should you do, but what you are s maybe supposed to be to do, like a uh, like a uh, teaching you how to live. I understand that I am not like a fifteen years old and I know everything. I understand it. I understand that I am not uh, like a person who is so who is so like uh to, who is so maybe i know what if i am scared to speak uh, in uh, in private maybe i should write a letter to them because i'm scared to talk uh, face to face yes uh, i'm not scared to make take a take a call phone i'm scared to f speak face to face maybe with them about my things that around me. I can share anything about my life and I don't like when they they are like do they are guessing about my life. Like oh you are doing videos it is funny maybe you should go you should go you said you should go to tele television. I don't like this. Yes, I understand that my f speech right now is not super structurable. I don't like their guesses about me. They are uh, like uh, they that they share something about uh, I don't know how to say guesses uh, like when I was speaking about my university things it it was it was two years ago I started to talk about my active life at uh, university I started to talk about things that around me and I didn't like it so much I didn't like uh, hear something about what I spoke about. I like to be like uh, always accepted. I like to be always applied. That's why I like to do videos because uh, you will not say to me bullying words. Yes, you can write something in the comment section, but okay, you will not stop my talk. You will not stop my freedom to talk. But about them, yes, uh, they can interrupt you. They can start to think Igor. I uh, yes, about two years ago, talk with my grandmother. Oh, I was talking about my active life, student life at university, that I started to be more like a... She thought that I was before not super active, because I was playing computer games, but at school I was super active. At school I was another person, and why didn't I do some active style at my... 
at my um, home because I was uh, this way of thinking that uh, I, if I will change myself, th- like uh, if I will be active at home, they will say, what are you doing? Are you dumb? Are you stupid? I thought this way. Maybe they will not do this, will not think this way. But and I was so silenced at home. I was super silenced at uh, home at 2010, 2008, uh, five. It all started from life with my father, real father. And uh, at 2013, uh, I was uh, I was at univer. Oh, no, at t- 2013, we went from my father, own father, blood father to stepfather, and uh, at. Uh, from that moment i started to be changed uh, in a circle of him like in uh, in a life at 2015 i joined to university and at uh, 2017 i was super like active at university and i started to share this my active life at university to my uh, to my parents on phone because uh, i le- i started to live at dormitory i was so so thankful for this time that i was started to live uh, at dormitory and uh, when i was living at dormitory i was doing all whatever i wanted to do all what i wanted i did and uh, it was a nice time it was like a, i was living my own life uh, with my own terms i could do anything i like freedom of do anything i don't like to be controlling my mind that someone will think about me something Yes, uh, like uh, I was uh, like uh, invulnerable or how to say it. Right now I feel vulnerability. Yes, it is. I'm vulnerable that they will think about me. That my family members, not someone else. Family members and women that I like. That's all. That's all what uh, what do I feel. And a uh, woman at my life is like one girl from, from university. And uh, I was scared... To speak uh, about uh, what did I say about? Yes, I, I'm scared of them. And at my uh, at my university, I started to be more like a, I could live not only at university in my life, but also at dormitory. I lived like I wanted to live. At home before before when I was at school, I was in a way like. I was so inside of me, I I did not show my truth, true self, to to like a people who are from. Uh, I didn't show true true my own self to to my family members. I didn't show it at uh, my school because it all started from from my own father. And I didn't show my true self because I was scared to be punished. And I projected this like that I will be that I will be punished to another family members too. Because I was scared that I will be punished. Yes, it was like a domestic violence before. Not like it was domestic violence. And I was punished a lot at my childhood. And I talked about it. I can talk about it one more time and uh, i was punished at my childhood when i had my own father and after that i when we went away from him at uh, 2013 or 2014 uh, 2013 then i started to live better then i started to feel better then i started to feel more freedom about some deals i started to understand that i will not be punished so much yes okay period. Here is, we know what we do. Then, university. I fell before university, like, uh, time, living with my stepfather, mother, and uh, grandmother, and sister time. And uh, at uh, this moment, when we lived together, I want to say that I felt uh, a fear, fear of, uh, like, uh, showing my own self after, uh, like, uh, what I was at school. At school, I was so like a dorky. I was so embarrassing, man, cringy, and going to everywhere and uh, like speaking with this man, this dude, with another. I was in the center of attention. I was using swear words like a fuck, can't, uh, or shit, piece, uh, f- 
tits and another words. I was using them a lot. Yes, I, I understand it and it will be not really nice stuff to use it at, at home. Yes, I understood it. But I was so funny <laughs> and I was my true, my true, like uh, my own truth was at my uh, at my school when I was at school. When I was at school, yeah, I I was uh, speaking my own words. I was speaking with uh, all like uh, I don't give a fuck what will someone think about me. And when I uh, when I was at uh, when I went to home, at home I was like a let's go silence. I have my World of Warcraft game. I have my own computer game style, and I can do anything. I can do this. And I will not share my thoughts to anyone. I can share my own thoughts at my uh, at my school or maybe at Computer World and at raids that we had. Raids it is like a, when we have groups of people, forty of pe- people or twenty five members, and uh, we were speaking together and chatting, and it was a good style, and uh, that's why I like to be at this World of Warcraft style game. And another games because uh, it is uh, like a, my routine that I was not with my parents. It is my routine that I was uh, investing time to be with not parents but with uh, my own self. To be like uh, with with my own. It was good. Next stuff. It is. It was at uh, university when I joined to university. I understood. That right now I want to live at dormitory so much. Because if I will live at dormitory, I can apply, I can accept, I can do anything that I really want. Even if uh, all things inside the dormitory will be so shitty, so like not really good. If I will live with cockroaches, bats, with uh, bug bats, bad bugs, uh, then I will appreciate it so much. Because I will feel like a physical a physical not good appearance but inside of me i will feel rainbow i will feel anything with shyness with butterflies everything will be good and uh, like i will appreciate this life a lot and i wanted so much to go to dormitory to live there there and uh, 2015 i went to dormitory i was at university and uh, at university i i started to feel like uh, like the way at university, when I joined to university, then I started to feel the way that uh, that I can do anything, that I can do really anything all my 24/7 life. Like uh, Monday, Thursday, Thursday, th- Tuesday. <gasps> Jesus, my my cough. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, 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 one moment. Yes, it is feeling of like uh, something went wrong. Yes, stop, 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 stop hurting. Stop hurting, stop hurting, stop hurting, stop hurting, stop hurting. Oh, f- fuck. I feel it inside of my leg. What should I do? What direction should I apply to feel less? This feeling. Oh. My muscle, my muscle, my muscle, my muscle. <gasps> Jesus Christ. Why do I feel so hurting? I don't know why. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Second time, second time from today. Maybe because uh, I was standing at my at my piano playing so much. Maybe need to do stretching of my calves. To not feel this way, yes, and to do relaxation massages to them. Okay, and uh, at my university I felt so much like a 24-7, Tuesday, Monday, Wednesday, that I, <laughs> Jesus Christ, that I really appreciate my life, I can do anything I want, and nobody will stop me. And uh, I understood that, uh, yes, I can do anything, and... Uh, I'm not scared of my family members. Yes, I'm. I was scared a little bit of uh, doormates, but it was new doormates. It was like a when you are scared to talk with girls, like have a conversation with girls. It is the same way, like when you're scared to 
to speak with someone you it was not fear of like a, you will be embarrassed with someone and you will you will like a, so regret about it but it was more about I um, need to drink do you understand this fear when you are you are scared to meet one new person like to go to girl and to say hey girl how are you doing you want to smash like a this way conversation a conversation when you are scared like to speak with new person because you are like a it is fear of uh, inside of us uh, not like a fear that we created inside of our mind but fear on instincts fear of our like animal fear of uh, speaking with someone new like a Yes, I understand that I like to speak with someone new a lot, but firstly, a little bit of fear you have about it, of starting conversation, because maybe she or he has a knife inside of their pockets. Yes, maybe. It is like a, a little bit of fear, like a 2% of, uh, of concentration of all feelings, but mostly you feel like, a, yes, everything will be good, everything will be all right. But with family, it was... 50 60 percent sage of uh, fear to speak with them about my real life yes two percent versus 60 it is a big amount and when i was at my university i don't know what to do with my cough right now when i was at my university i was uh, i was sharing to my fam family some facts about my student life that I was I started to do active life that I started to do like a project at my university that I I'm not playing right now I don't I didn't that I didn't play I, that I didn't play computer games anymore I was investing my time in some of the like a trainings like a learning you television stuff videography photography and stuff of like a artwork, like a speaker time, and I started to do corresponding time to like corresponding. Do you know when you are journalism thing? When you speak with the microphone, when you speak on stage, when you do acting roles, when you do comedian things, when you do anything about it, and also I I'm so scared to speak about sexual things and about some of the rape things inside of my home because I think that it's taboo. Like, but I don't feel this way. Maybe I start to speak about it, but in Russian language. Right now, I understand that some words, they are kind of similar to, to Russian words when we speak about them. For example, what kind of sexual things. Sexual, it sounds like in Russian language too. And so when we speak about uh, something... Something in Russian language, they are sound, soundful a lot of, uh, like, in Russian language. Yes, and uh, some words like blini, you know, pancakes, uh, they, are, they are from Russian language, and you can use them too. Some of the matryoshka style, matryoshka, do you know, yes. And uh, it is the same name in Russian language. They are so soundful, familiar to Russian ear. And when I speak about these topics, like sexual things, then I feel kind of embarrassed because I think that this talk is not super appropriate inside of our home. I don't know why. And okay, for university, at university I started to do many of active life student things and uh, I started to share this information to my family. And uh, grandmother, not mother, not stepfather, not someone else uh, started to speak about me especially grandmother started to speak oh you do active thing do you like it so much like a dancing like a, oh, what do you feel i i don't feel this like of like i don't like this manner of speaking with me i i appreciate so much that this attention from her that maybe she is interested in my life yes i understand that she may be interested in my life what i do and she's so proud of me that i do but uh, i'm don't like to to hear this kind of talk about me she didn't find like a way to speak with me i mean this and uh, i don't like that when someone is speaking with me in this manner of uh, i don't know i don't feel like a so much of uh, sincere or anything or something like this i don't feel uh, feeling like uh, sincere maybe or i expected to hear something else I don't like when they are asking, do you have a girlfriend? I don't like this uh, kind of topics. It is uh, like, uh, 
so uh, what I don't uh, <laughs> that I don't digest inside of my stomach uh, of feelings and I don't like this stuff of speaking when someone is someone speaks also about uh, university time yes I started to share these topics that I started to do many effective life things I didn't say that I was active I only started to share this information yes I I was active at my school too but at university I started to share to them these facts on phone firstly and after that this talk I started to apply at our real life conversation when I went from dormitory for for one night to my home one night stayed at home with grandmother yes search it on uh, some xvideo.com yes joking and uh, I I was at my uh, with co communication with them about it uh, and uh, about stepfather and uh, and mother they were speaking with me with likable to me way but I don't like so much my sister and uh, with uh, talking with my grandmother about these things because they maybe I don't like their feeling like a cynical things of uh, talking to me non super sincere. Maybe I I started to think I started to make it like a I started to see this like a unsincere or uh, something not super not super to me way. Yes, I hope that you understand me. And right now live with them, life with them. It is not super nice that I feel so much. Yes, I hope that you understand me. And uh, at university, I started to share this talk about my active life. They, they started to, oh, you're nice, it is good. Yes, maybe you should go to some of the radio station. You should go to television, kid channel. Uh, but I understand that I do right now. You tap things. It is new television and Instagram is new television. And uh, television is radio right now. Radio is dead and almost. And... Uh, or radio, it is right now podcasting. Podcasting is new radio. And uh, I understand that uh, life changes daily. And uh, that daily we have new things in our world. The daily these things uh, happen. Uh, they are uh, another way. They are so like with different ways. Not like they were before. And uh, that uh, their paradigm of their mind. That uh, need to do something. Not like... A, not super entrepreneurship, need to work on someone and then will be good. But mentality of my stepfather was another way. You should do your entrepreneurship because uh, she, he's a um, blacksmither, blacksmither and farm owner. And uh, he is doing ownership. It's like a poor dad, a rich dad story about my life. And uh, he's a blacksmither, and I like it so much that he, he's a master. He's uh, like a carpenter also. And he does uh, any, anything with handmade style, and I like it so much. And uh, you saw my some videos and some stuff from wooden pieces and some of the metallic pieces uh, from videos, maybe 30 videos ago, you saw it uh, on, on first dates of ma March. All things created by him. And... Uh, I like his job that he does and I like his mentality about that you should do your own things. The same mentality with my mother about uh, she does uh, some of the knitting, like knitting with, uh, I don't know what to say, how to say it, it's when you create your own leather and uh, she does uh, personal tutoring, personal teaching of uh, children to math to physics, to informatics, to some of the style of logical uh, sciences. It is good, yes, she's do she does it, and it is nice. But about uh, another members of my fam family, I don't feel the same way, especially about my sister and about grandmother. About uh, them, uh, firstly, that they can say about me something not good, and uh, it, uh, it, ha it is so, like, harmful to me, and I don't feel so sincere about them because they can say something it's so cynical i don't i i don't want to say that they are cynical but uh, their word sounds to me cynical it will be correct form of using it will be a really correct form of using that uh, it sounds to me cynical not theirs uh, that they are cynical maybe they think about their own truth too because uh, like I do. Maybe you are like a type of that I don't like so much. Maybe you are my type that are watching me and so like a appreciation to me. 
And so this video is so important because I recorded already 55 minutes and I'm not like uh, tired of doing it. It's a little bit of sore throating. To throat sorry and nothing else and I was scared of sharing my own um, thoughts about things and when they asked me about new topics I understood they maybe they st they wanted uh, my grandmother or sister and they wanted to like dive into myself more and on the question like uh, how are you doing I was asking good or maybe uh, what should I say to you? But I understood that I did this like a behavior not really nice uh, that for another people like a woman that I like, uh, that girl f that I like, uh, I was answering on question, how are you doing? I was answering like uh, with so uh, rainbows and uh, with so like uh, things that I wanted to share with. But to them, maybe I don't have enough of trust. Yes. Maybe I open to myself that I don't have enough of trust to them and that's why I don't, want, I don't want to share to them this information. That's all. Maybe this topic is closed. Uh, I don't have enough trust to them because uh, maybe of some things that happened to me, of some of the like a trust crushing. And uh, I understand that uh, it is like, uh, I don't know what's the word of it. Maybe need to find one moment. I will Google. I will go. What's the name of it? Resentment. Resentment. Hurt. Offense. Uh, insult. Resentment. I think that it's res resentment or insult. Yes, maybe I feel resentment to them. And it is not a good feeling. Need to be grateful. N don't need to feel uh, resentment to my family members. Uh, to something, need to free myself, like I broke this uh, links of uh, of like a chain, yes, links of chain and everything will be fine, need to be more, need to be more productive also, but I feel that, <laughs> why did I start, why did I start, why, why I, did I say about productive that I do unproductive things, uh, because I'm scared to show my own self. When I have a free day of like being at home alone, I feel so much productive. But right now I feel less productive and even when I do videos, uh, I understand that they can interrupt me, they can do something to me and uh, I don't like it so much. And uh, yes, this tone was not super nice that I said a few moments ago. But uh, that's true. And uh, what should I do next? Uh, speak more topics on English language uh, and maybe free myself my own at home and maybe need to have a conversation finally with them or to start uh, making videos on Russian language and not speak with them about it. Maybe it will be a good decision. But I feel so scared about it. And right now, yes, about this life. On 2019, I went away from co from my university and I went to... Uh, from university, I went to St. Petersburg immediately. And at St. Petersburg, I didn't feel the same fear of my family. I was scared that I will go right now to home and at home I will be like again with this like a feeling of unproductivity. Unproductivity because of my things that they can think about me, about my new like beginnings. Like, uh, they know me from one form, f one form of creation, like a person gamer who is always on computer and speaking with someone else on uh, on this communication style. They don't know me like a person who is dancing. They did not see my, my dancing. They heard my, like, acting, <laughs> acting impressions time, but on English language, not on Russian. And uh, they heard me, they heard my, uh, heard, uh, like, uh, hearing, heard my... Uh, heard my feelings uh, maybe but they did not see them they did not see what I like so much maybe they maybe were noticing a little bit but not fully they didn't see how I shot videos uh, on uh, like a phone uh, my mom did but not so much and uh, on my um, on my way of like uh, 
they they didn't see what I do so much. Only recordings on some Instagram that I blocked to them that I did uh, like no watching me that I did private. Some uh, some stuff on YouTube too, but I can't do like a blocking it. But I understand that they can see this. Uh, but they started to say to me that I do laughing things, like uh, that it is not super serious. And uh, I feel not really nice about it. I feel so not nice and uh, I don't want to do. And uh, I don't want to... Maybe I should say, uh, I should speak with them. <laughs> it will It will be a nice choice. Or write a letter. But speaking will be more important. It will be more... Uh, more understandable and uh, that I can share my feelings. Need to say all about these things that I don't like to share my own things about. Uh, like girlfriend stuff. About like... Uh, I don't like manier of cynical things from them. It will be a nice uh, thing to share about sexual things too and about things that matters a lot to me. That uh, all my creating it is what I like to do and uh, that uh, all what we have in our life it is our own life. Yes, I understand that uh, they maybe want, want to support me and they maybe don't want they don't want me to take a risk to go to entrepreneurship like this way. Or maybe they only want to share their thoughts uh, to another people. Oh, my grandson or my son is uh, the best person, yes. He does uh, videos. <laughs> he, he makes videos and uh, they are not really... They are so laughable, they are so cringe. And... Uh, but who gives a fuck? It is, uh, it is your own child, it is your own uh, grandchild, and it is your brother. And who gives a fuck about it? Yes, I understand maybe your reputation will be downy, but uh, if uh, this person, like, uh, I imagine, you are 70 years old, uh, like granny, and... Uh, at this moment, you speak with the same 65 years old granny, too. I imagine this situation. I'm granny. This is another granny, friend. I can tell to her. Uh, we have a conversation about job. About job of our grandchilds. Okay, one uh, girl asks me, like, Hey, what, uh, what, uh, what does your child do? Child, uh, grandchild do? And I... No, no, no. I'm asking. What uh, what's uh, your hobby or something like uh, your child uh, grandchild hobby? And she will say like, uh, oh my grandchild uh, right now it is like government things or maybe he's a teacher or maybe on he's on television or he's on stage. Uh, yes, he's on stage, not like a of super like a theater, but he's on stage. He's doing like a, a stuff for uh, his engineer or something like that. But uh, but what y your childhood does? And uh, she will uh, answer like uh, he does YouTube videos and um, she he is making videos. And uh, after that uh, she will look at uh, her like what it is dumb stuff. Or maybe they have a conversation. I I noticed uh, it so much on some of the complaining and suffering places about par uh, about parents that uh, like a grand. People like uh, 40 plus years old, they think that bloggers, vloggers and some streamers and speaking heads, yes, they are speaking heads, uh, they, uh, they are not really nice, they are not really good people, they do not really interesting things or maybe they do some of the dumb, uh, cringy and so like uh, entertaining for themselves and showing themselves like uh, off to another. Oh, I do eating right now. Look at me. I'm eating right now. I'm eating this stuff. I'm doing this stuff. Uh, they may be so like, uh, so not really nice uh, at this stuff. And uh, I uh, understood uh, how to say it. 
And I understand that they maybe feel kind of shy and shameless embarrassment too about if they will say after that that they, their child does these videos, makes videos. And I understand that, Jesus Christ, why don't you like it? And uh, I, no, 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 I understand that uh, they will... Uh, they will be embarrassed in front of another people, but it's all about self-esteem of them. Or one more interesting, like a, a possibility, like my forecasting. Why does not they like this? Because they don't want me to be higher than they. It is like a sick mentality that maybe can be can have a place on this stage too because uh, if your child is better than you you feel kind of not really nice this some of the thoughts maybe can be inside of you that your child is better than you or something like this yes maybe in some moments when you will share it to another people you can say oh it is my child look at this it's that's my boy uh, but uh, on another thing you will think like uh, oh jesus my child is better than me Yes, maybe this feeling. I don't feel it. Uh, I only guess it because I was watching at, uh, at how to say it, at uh, at YouTube video of Gary Vaynerchuk, and he said this way that uh, sick mentality of people. But uh, maybe they support me a lot. Yes, uh, one more, one more scenario, my one more script. They they maybe like me so much and they want to support me, but they don't want to go to to make me go in and taking so big amount of risk right now. But I understand that I want to take a risk on my 22 years old. I want to go on this road. I want to find my way of going and to, to be so big amount of like a popularity famous and to do my own things, so whatever I want. And uh, do my own speaking show, talk show and uh, showing myself that I do and uh, I understand that uh, I will feel so proud of me that I will do my own things I will like it so much and I like it so much I like to speak I like to do editing videos especially on computer that is not lagging and that not lags and I like to do this stuff but I don't want to like uh, maybe I don't believe in, in this like a supporting of them that they show to me maybe i don't believe in it because sometimes i hear their talk like it is time when you are like a sleeping morning time when they think that you are sleeping but they talk about you in a way that he's doing some psychopath things psychopath i mean that sometimes i do some of the some of the impressions and i can hear some words maybe they are not addressed to me this words uh, that I, this psychopath uh, like uh, needs some ambulatory and uh, but I understand about me that I'm all a kind of psychopath too and uh, I understand that uh, maybe their talk uh, is not super uh, I mean that like when they speak in this way like a psychopath uh, like how to say it so uh, they think that I'm like asleep. It is like a talking behind you, talking behind your back, like uh, when uh, when I w they when they think that I will not hear, they speak about me. It is the same way, way like I do right now. I speak behind their back because they will not understand me. But I speak it because I need someone to hear me, because I'm scared to talk with them face to face, straight in the face. That's why. It is not like I'm not a good person that, and I don't want to speak with my parents. I want, but I don't want it so much, maybe. And or I, I'm scared to do this because I don't want, uh, like a, con like a continuing of this stuff. Need to share it. Need to prepare my talk to them. What do I like? What do I want? Like my plan, my plannings, my things, and uh, why do I feel scared? Why do I feel need to like a uh, why? What do I feel right now? Why am I scared? Why do I don't show my own stuff that that I like? What I like? What uh, I want to do? What don't I want to talk about me? 
like uh, my uh, things that I don't want to hear or do something and uh, why do I f why don't I share to them my emotions because on a few days ago yesterday yesterday my grandmother said to me that I'm like uh, without soul without like a uh, feelings and uh, it was so harmful to me because I understand that I'm so feelingful but I don't want to share my feelings to them that's why I don't want to share my feelings to them that's why it is like a no time uh, she said that I'm without soul like this way in Russian in Russian manure styling I don't want I, I don't know how to say it more with context uh, like uh, in English phrase but uh, in English language it will be you are without a soul you are unemotional but I understand that I'm so emotional and so with empathy to people but sometimes I really do like uh, I don't want to show my feelings to them like uh, I will be I will not look at you don't look at me don't speak with me it is like a when you are really what's the word when you are really re feel resentment like a, a resentment or I don't give a fuck about anything. I don't want to speak with you. Please uh, don't touch me this way. Maybe this way, yes. But I hope that everything will be fine, to, uh, fine and uh, I will continue my growth. Right now I feel that I can speak freely more. Maybe need to speak about more like a topics that is so like a like so much of uh, words that uh, need to speak about topics that I'm scared the most. It will be really good stuff. Scared the most and language that I'm scared the most. The most. Maybe need to reborn my Russian channel in front of doing it uh, with my grandmother, with my sister, uh, like uh, when I will do this and uh, with my uh, mother too, but I'm not scared of my mother and I'm not scared of my stepfather a little bit, but uh, it is all about like a, maybe they will think that it, I do some embarrassment, not like they will not apply me, but uh, they will th say to me that Igor, it is some funny stuff. Their, their intonation, their manner of speaking is more like a stepfather and mother their intonation not so cynical and not so like a, uh, you are not really nice their manner of uh, their manner is sincere but they can say it oh you do some funny videos they are so embarrassing you they are so like a face palm but okay i i want to say that i love you and uh, okay and uh, go ahead igor do what you want and to go but they they don't support me. They, or I feel that uh, that grandmother and my sister, they are not supporting me. They don't support me. But I want to feel this apartation. Whew. One hour, 12 minutes of speaking about this topic. Really, it is uh, maybe the most longest video on at this home at least. Uh, or for last time, I didn't produce so big amount of talk through one shot of talking. Really. And thanks so much for everybody who was listening to this talk. And uh, we will go forward. I hope that everything will be fine. When I will find uh, the way how I want to speak at my home, when I will feel free to speak with uh, myself, uh, to like act like I want, because sometimes I look at my mirror, like a mirror outside of my room, and uh, when I'm alone, I can dance near this mirror, I can do grimaces, I can do some of the funny faces, but in front of my family, I, I'm scared to do this. When I, uh, I'm uh, at my home and when I'm outside of my room, look at this room. Room is uh, closed. Look, it is closed. Closed door. I can do anything here. I can dance, I can do anything. And I'm scared that someone will think about my dances, that they are so creepy, they are so not really good. Yes, and uh, I feel this way, that uh, I don't want to look, I don't want to share my own things, that I I, I do curse words, yes, I, I do them, yes, English words, but ra sometimes Russian too, but I don't use them so much, I don't use them in front of another people, and I don't want to do this, it is not really funny, but in, when I'm alone with myself, I can do anything I want. And uh, I want to share my swear words to, like, uh, 
to my own uh, things I want to share some of the dorky things like oh yes go to this I'm ready who's ready who's ready yes this way so of uh, laughing style style of speaking when I want to produce this I I need to produce it. but right now I'm scared a little bit of speaking to topics that I like yes like this way need to talk with them really and uh, everything will be fine and when i will talk with them when everything in this situation or when i will talk with them or i will uh, start shooting videos without talking to them uh, about this stuff then it will be easier to me to my soul and i will be uncontrollable and i will understand that what i like the most but right now i want the most it is to be free of these chains of this change of controllable of someone of my life that it is not like controllable things like they are controlling me it is my home really i mean that uh, i have documents of this home that i live here and i can live here uh, they maybe pay my rent and they maybe pay my food that's all uh, and other things i can do anything and i can share my thoughts uh, yes i can i can even do like uh, how to say it uh, not talk i can not talk to them like uh, i imagine i cannot talk to them i can do my own stuff i can speak in russian language at my home and uh, i can do anything i want and but i'm scared to do this a little bit and uh, need to start stock on a uh, talk on russian language or talk about things that i like need to be free at uh, at my home need to be free at uh, doing what I like and uh, then I will find my way what I really want to do but right now what I want to do is I want to share my feelings truth truth feelings not like I play in piano I like to do jokes uh, some of the sexual harassment jokes rape harassment jokes some of the killer and so like a uh, black humor jokes about cancer about like a uh, killing <laughs> killing people with coronavirus thing we like uh, s laughing at uh, something that uh, people so shocked some of the shocking content sorry viewer discretion is advised this video for 18 plus and uh, that is all jokes and disclaimer i'm not like a propagandic of things like let's go kill people yes uh, the most funny things for uh, Hannibalism for these people who eats another people for these people who eat and other people it is so that they can solve two problems world population and uh, world hunger yes like this way i like to joke it on on the russian language uh, and uh, when i'm outside of my home i do this with my like uh, <laughs> fellows i will not call them friends because i don't have like a connection with them so much or i don't uh, like uh, name it define it like a uh, French, but uh, I do these jokes uh, about this so creepy style and uh, so like a dorky and I want to speak on open mic even but I'm scared to prepare it uh, to prepare myself on Russian language because if I will prepare it at my home I don't I want to say I, I want to share to you I don't speak Russian at my home I speak only English I speak Russian only to a answer to my uh, to my uh, family members to my grandmother to my sister that's all and to mother and nothing else i didn't say anything except of hello good morning good afternoon uh, thank you for uh, for meal yes enjoy your meal and uh, like uh, i will go to store i will uh, i will like uh, take some garbage i don't know rubbish uh, mean that means that pocket back of uh, trash and i will uh, throw it uh, to the place uh, trash trash place and uh, i will not uh, li like this way i uh, i was speaking with them only with 10 10 phrases 10 phrases of my day daily talk 10 phrases nothing more only 10 phrases i imagine this and i want to sing my songs in english in russian language and I'm so scared to sing my songs in Russian language because they can hear me. If they will hear me, they can think about me. Oh, what's, uh, what do you... And all my songs, uh, they are almost about love and uh, 
Are you singing about love you're so unsoulful? Why do you uh, why do you sing about love? Yes, uh, and who is your girlfriend? Who is your crush? Like uh, this uh, way of talk of talking and uh, I'm not like this topic so much and uh, I don't want to speak about them with them. I don't f I don't feel trust to them. And that's why. And uh, I'm so grateful for uh, for my uh, family members that I have all right now at my life, right now this way. I am so grateful for you that uh, what, watched this video. Thank you so much. Uh, if you want, you can subscribe. You can. If you don't want, you can do this. Uh, also, you can write a comment your opinion. Uh, you can uh, share your story if you want. Thanks so much for one hour, 20 minutes of this like uh, emotional talk. And uh, it is so big amount of uh, feelings that I shared. And it is one of the most important video, talking video on my channel. Because here I shared uh, my own stuff without like a pretending of uh, f a smile. I don't want to say that it's faking, but uh, sometimes to create a video, yes, you, you understand that uh, need to smile that people will like it. It is like a things of uh, respect a respectation to my audience like i respect my audience i sh i should share good vibes like uh, i don't want to watch you w to make you watch uh, to person who is always like a sad and speaking complaining or something i want to share like a good vibes of like a life is good we are grateful we can go forward in this way i want to share these vibes and here is on the end of the epilogue of this video, I want to say that uh, the biggest thank you for watching. I hope that in your family, in your like uh, inner circle of your life, everything is fine. And uh, we will go forward. We will speak uh, freely. We will do anything freely. I hope so. And uh, I will share my feelings uh, on Russian language too. If I will not do this till uh, maybe day after after yesterday uh, t t oh, jesus day after uh, day after tomorrow then uh, please tell me this on comment section did you speak with your parents did you write did you start please notice it and write to me this uh, notification it will be a really nice stuff to to hear it from you thank you and share your story if you want how to solve this problem, your like suggestions, your opinion, and uh, I'm so grateful for my life, I'm so grateful for all what's around me, even this situation, maybe it will be so teaching to me, and if I will go from this situation, then I can solve any problem, be because the most hardest maybe problem to me right now, it is this problem, not something else, Not and it is not a problem, it is possibility, it is situation. Yes, let's look at this with positive thinking, with positive mind. Thank you a lot. See you next time. Be cool, share kindness, improve cell daily. And uh, you know that all depends on your life, only on you. I started to repeat it uh, from maybe two years ago. Years ago, I started to say this phrase and I will not stop it. Let's go forward. We are here. A Russian man who brings value through my own experience. M my name is Igor. And... Uh, Yes, I like to share some thoughts about my life. I like to share all about my life on this channel. See you next time. Be sincere. Even uh, even if nobody will watch, be, be sincere always. And uh, don't be like me in this situation when I'm not sincere about my feelings to my family. Please learn something from it. If you, if you learned, okay, you're a good person. See you next time.